starting at around $9,000 and going all the way up to $379,261 for a single bag. Hermes has become a symbol of status and luxury in the world of haute couture. And even though they're most famous for their Birkins, it didn't start that way. So here is how Hermes went from harness workshop to $18 billion empire. Let's dive right into it, shall we? Thierry Hermes for being one of the most popular French haute couture brands, you can say it's surprising to find out that the owner who started the company was actually German. That's right, he was born in Germany and then came to France after his family had died, caused by a horrible disease. Alone and with no one to turn to, Thierry decided to move to Paris in 1821. After working small jobs here and there to earn a living, Thierry finally decided it was time to start a company he could call his. About 16 years later, he opened his very first shop in Paris. But don't go off thinking that this was a haute couture company back in the day. Thierry had as much understanding in fashion as a gorilla who understands the meaning of life, but he had a gift. The horse saddles he made in his show were of the best quality in all of Paris. People from the high societies in Paris flocked to his store to buy them. Thierry was so good at stitching leather that he decided to branch out. From saddles, he moved on to trunks and finally handbags once he discovered the zipper. Speaking of which, how Hermes made their first bag. Before we talk about their first bag, don't forget to smash that like button. It keeps the almighty YouTube algorithm happy. And thank you for helping a small channel like this. Now, let's get one thing straight. You should know that the first bag wasn't intended for women. Charles Emile, the son of Thierry, knew a lot about harnesses and saddles, but he knew nothing about purses, just like his father. So, what kind of bag was this? Well, in 1880, Charles Emile took over the company after his dad passed away. Just like daddy, he wanted to best serve his high profile clients. That's why, with the help of his two sons, Charles introduced the Hot Corroi bag. Again, Charles wasn't coming after the female demographic in particular. He made a bag in which people could place their saddles. Once their father retired, the two sons took over the business. They even renamed it to Hermes Brothers and went to work on designing saddles for the Tsar of Russia. At this time, the Hermes Brothers employed around 80 people in their workshop, which made them a pretty large company. And that's why they got the exclusive rights to using the zipper. After the invention of the zipper, Emile Maurice, one of the Hermes brothers, got the exclusive right to the zipper and he forever changed the entire world. And still, the bread and butter of Hermes was still nowhere to be seen. In 1918, the company introduced a golf jacket with a zipper, which became known as the Femeture Hermes or the Hermes Fastener. It was designed for the Prince of Wales, and he loved it. But where does the bag come in? Well, first of all, we should tell you that the two brothers needed to separate so Hermes could get out of the rut. You see, back in 1919, Hermes saddles and harness sales were steadily declining, and Adolf couldn't take the pressure. So he left the company, and his brother bought him out. This left Emile Maurice alone in the company. That's when he found... Solution to his wife's problems. You see, even though Emile Maurice had the invention, he didn't know what to do with it. One day, his wife complained about how she couldn't find the right bag for herself. Him being a good husband, went out and toiled away for days to design, craft, and stitch his wife the very first woman's bag. The bag was just a smaller version of the Haute au Coroi. This was when the empire was starting to take shape. In 1924, Hermes opened his new stores in the States. Seeing the initial success, Emile Maurice designed bathing suits for women. In 1935, the Sac de Peches bag was introduced for the first time. Because ladies loved it so much, it became known as the Kelly bag. The next popular product was the Birkin bag, which was introduced in 1981 and was named after the owners met the smoking hot actress Jane Birkin. This is their most wanted bag because of its scarcity and the fact it's one of the highest quality bags in the world. This explains why there's a sixth generation of Hermes heirs leading the company. On a related note, would you want to buy a Birkin bag one day? You can tell us in the comment section below. 
if you'd like more of these videos. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.